uncomfortable with that we'll give you a moment to exit and then after we close the casket if you'll all meet us in the lobby two by two on rows of two it's a very sensitive moment you can go in the I don't show the casket but just go inside I don't Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Aga, bad Alessi. Bad Alessi. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Say thank you, mommy. 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 She did great. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
read as here. It's not the happiest of occasions or moments, but as the Bible commands us, that in everything we should give thanks. So even as we come for Mama's burial, we yet still say thank you. It's not easy, but the Bible says that He given more grace. So we pray that your grace will abound this moment and your grace will be evident and your mercies will be made new unto the people gathered together today and that they reach and you will bring comfort to everyone in this room. The Bible says that blessed be God, who the God of all comforts, who comforts us with all heavenly comforts. By the time we are out of here, there will be comfort for all your people gathered here, especially those who are directly buried. We thank you that you are God and there is no one like you. Come, even now, and be with us. Come and be enthroned here. We welcome you here, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Shall we kindly sing a hymn, Abide With Me? Amen. Abide With Me, fast all the evening time. Amen. Thank you. This time, the voice on the keyboard.
look at scripture from the book of uh, Revelation chapter 14, 12, and 13, and we'll read Revelation 20, verses 11 to 15. Say my mind with small words, let us pray, but I guess we'll read them. So 14, 12, and 13. And then 20. Revelation 14, 12 and 13. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice cry from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. In 20, 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from, when, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things, which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead, which were in it. The death and hell delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast unto the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Thank you very much. We're going to sing another thing. I need the every hour. I need the every hour. You can sit. 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 I need the every hour. What's good? What's good?
here attributes about our departed mother. Tribute to Mum. 
is the depth. Now, um, can we have some treats? Is it all the girls coming? There are none of you. The are of the treats. There are nine of you. <laughs> it's okay, you can all come and give one minute each. We've got everybody has something to say. Yeah. Peter, you've done something already. Why are you here? Dear Mommy, we know you are finally at rest in the Lord's arms. You have lived an exemplary life, loving, nurturing, kind, thoughtful, selfless, compassionate, always willing to impart words of wisdom. We are going to miss calling you for counseling on personal issues having political discussions and learning from your culinary experience. You were also always so available to listen to us when they need, we needed to vent, or just to ask you to direct us on issues concerning our kids, and you always try to find a solution to our problems. Okay, sometimes maybe you try too hard. <laughs> Mom, you were mother to many. You loved us dearly and referred to us as your jewels. You always emphasized that we were more important to you than material things. You fought to the end with a smile on your face, still caring about what was going on in our lives and putting us first. Your legacy will live on through us, our children, and their children. Mommy, we promise to make you proud in everything that we do. Mommy, we're going to miss your sweet smile, your warm and loving touch, and we promise to keep your memory alive in our hearts. Rest in peace, Mommy. Mommy, I will drink back. Is there another one? Or that's it? The, the grandchildren. Over every one of us when we're unwell or upset. 
She's remembered for the calm she exuded as she offered us sage advice. The fierceness she could conjure at a moment's notice to guide us, defend us, help us, and take care of us, all of us. We, her grandchildren, her children, her nieces and nephews, neighbors, and their families, and beyond. Her approach to love was wholehearted, and holding steady so many lives, she carried many lessons to offer us, the youngest in her garden. I'll always remember the way her smile gleamed throughout the year as the thorny stalks gave way to full-fledged roses. She had those moments as the peace she will have underneath <coughs> as she watches her garden grow from above. Now her spirit, as we see today, has and will continue to nurture many seedlings and roses with beauty and thorns and guide us up toward her, toward the sunlight and toward love. We cannot be more grateful to have so many here to testify to the glory God has shown us through our grandma, who has been blessed with 91 years among us and has now joined our ancestors and the angels in heaven. She fed and watered and grew us up with compassion and care so that we could also grow to show each other and others we encounter in the world the same sincerity, compassion, and care. Then, centered not in ourselves but in God's goodness. What is compassion after all, if not love deep and through wisdom? Compassion is hard work, but because of Grandma Annie, the major we gathered for today to cherish and celebrate for her strong heart, we are more than up to the task. What a legacy you have left us, Grandma, and what a lesson. With compassion, small seeds and sharp stems will bloom into beautiful roses, and the hard work of living resiliently and compassionately will make for soft hands. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for the touching tributes of a loving grandma, and I pray and believe that her legacy will remain in you when people see every one of you. They will see karma and the cooking and everything, the love for flowers, everything. When somebody sees you, you must remember karma. Amen. Amen. You know, one thing I just observed, I saw, I, I know I'm kind of karma, but looking at it, I see the torches in her. She's really reflecting, reflecting it all in very, very deeply. And I believe that the characteristic and the nature and the qualities will also be there. Just want to share a few things and then we'll go. Father, we thank you for this very moment. Thank you for these words concerning your daughter Teresa. Thank you for the legacy that she has left behind. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. Amen. As I share the tribute and the um, the tribute, I just remember some old hymn from my days in school, the back in Boston. Um, give us the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see the saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be. Once they were mourners here below, and their couch was wet with tears. They wrestled hard, as we do now, with sins and doubts and fears. Our glorious name <coughs> gives our praise for his own pattern given, while the long cloud of witnesses show the same path to heaven. Amen. First thing to say, may God comfort you and may God give you great peace and strength. 91 years, she really lived a long life. But if the person lived to 120, around 30 years, he was still mourn. The Bible says that Moses lived 120 years and when he died, Israel had a mourning for 30 days. They had a real declared national uh, funeral for 30 days. They, Everybody was in Israel was having a morning session. So we certainly miss people because we don't see them anymore. But one thing, you know, when you haven't gone through um, bereavement before, you will not understand it. But when you have gone through, you know what to say. That's the Bible says that when God comforts us, we use that same comfort to comfort others. I remember one time at work, I was telling them, look, guys. I was here with you, I lost three people in a year, and you didn't know. They're like, really? When? I said, yeah, I was right here with you, I came to work. I lost my mother, I came to work the next day, you didn't know anything was happening. But through it all, we learn to trust in God, we learn to trust in Jesus, and we get strength to move on. The memories never go away. On my cell phone, even now, I've passed phone to phone to phone, 
have my father in laws cell phone number, my mother's cell phone number, my father's cell phone number, my brother's cell phone number. Everything is still there. It's why I can delete it. Why just some man one when I'm going through? I say, oh, that's his phone number. I just try to have the memory. Grandma did a great job. She did a great job, and you are the evidence of the job that she did. I mean, as we told about the treatment, going around helping people, helping Ghana, helping other people. It's a great, a well, a life well lived. Amen. Amen. So, it was with crying, whilst we are having tears. Let's be comforted in this thing. She did her best. She did her best. She did her best. She did her best. And she saw her children, her children's children. Is there any great grand? There's no great grand. What? Yes. Oh, unfortunately. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She saw her children and her children's children. That's a blessing. People don't need to see all that. But she's blessed. And she has blessed other people. She's touched people around the nations. It's a blessing. The Bible says, Blessed are the dead in Christ, for they shall rest from their labors. Amen. And their works shall follow them. In actual fact, though we are all afraid of death, it's actually a portal into glory. You know, so people say, every, what's, what's, what's the guy's name? The, 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 the Rastafarian. Well, Mali, you say, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. <laughs> I mean, we all dream of it. Oh, I want to go to heaven, I want to go to heaven, I want to go. But we don't really want to go, I mean, to leave this place. But you know something? If you were to see a glimpse of it, you will not think and look back. I was told I've had one day with an evangelist who went to preach somewhere. And after preaching, his wife died in some flood. And he was crying and crying and saying, God, I want my wife back. In actual fact, when he came, he was crying. The wife opened the eyes. Yeah, and now, now you have the dead person have to the eyes. What are you going to do? <laughs> Just let grandma open the eyes. I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, everybody's going to scatter left, right? You put the food in front of the say, grandma, come back. <laughs> when the person opened the eyes, the woman just asked, to, I talked to the husband, You, you've been preaching about heaven. You go about evangelism and preaching heaven, 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 heaven. Don't avoid hell, I go to heaven. He said, You don't have a clue of the beauty and the glory thereof about God and the hope that there is for us. You know, we are the Western world, it's just there's no God, it's just all sorts of things. Listen, God is there and God is real. And that's why I tell you, I, because my bishop has been going to those things of the eternal, that Jupiter is there, I've been looking at them, I've been studying them, I've been watching them, I'm like, God is amazing. There is a God in heaven who made us just going there finally, I mean, some of you are in health, are in health sciences. The mystery of it all in our body teaches us that there is a creator. If there is a creature, there is a creator. We have a car, we see this is a Mercedes Benz because you are holding a key and you've got the on it. You are also made in the image of God Most High. In the beginning, He made man. And the Bible said, He breathed into man, and man became a living soul. All of a sudden, and when, as the book of Ecclesiastes will say, you go back to the maker, your death shall live again. And I and you must determine to meet our loved ones again. Amen. 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 So, the lesson from the house of mourning is that we prepare us in our life.
Thank you very much. I guess that will take time. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. And everyone shall sing Amen. Amen. Amen.